Um, good morning, uh, or good afternoon, or whenever it is for you. Uh, today I find myself uh, uh, in a friend's house. I had removed wallpaper from this room. And the first thing you need to know is uh, wallpaper is evil <laughs> and should be banned. Uh, and there are only a few people in the world I would remove wallpaper uh, for, and you're not one of them, most likely. Um, but anyway, uh, now I am filling holes in the wall before I paint them. And, and I got thinking, as I was filling these holes, how much it's like what we do in, in the church and in Christianity. You see, filling these walls with patch and paint, um, it's not going to add one thing to the structural integrity of the walls. And um, it's so much like that in, in Christianity. We see these holes in the wall, and uh, we think that by their existence, we have to fill them so that we can make Christ look better um, and Christianity look better. And the truth is, uh, so often the bigger the hole is, the more uh, obvious our crappy patch job has been. Um, but uh, the point being that we find ourselves thinking, you know, if we fill these holes, then people won't have a problem with Christianity. When we've completely missed the point that it's not about the holes in the wall, it's about the power and the... Uh, solid foundation that the walls have been built on that holds it together. Um, it's what's behind these walls. Um, as the Bible says, it's, uh, Christ was the chief cornerstone and the testimony of the apostles of what they saw and what they experienced in Christ overcoming death on our, depart, on our part and, and the oneness we have in, in the breath of God, which has been translated as spirit, but it is breath, literally, of God. The one as we share, that's where the power's at. And and instead we have majored on the holes in the wall and try to make it look good. And and often that's the first place that people uh, go to to try to punch holes in, in the argument of Christianity. Leave the holes alone. Uh, <laughs> the building will stand without us trying to replace or repair it. Um, and quite frankly, I think the holes in the wall are, are either windows <laughs> that God has given us into the future that we don't clearly understand, or opportunities or places where God's going to expand, um, expand the story for us. But we don't have to fill them. And what's funny, the apostles, and even Daniel and Daniel 12, they wanted to fill the holes that they didn't, they didn't know the answers to. And, and Jesus said to them, don't worry about it. Um, don't worry. When the breath of God uh, falls upon you, you're to be witnesses about what you've seen and heard and all that we've experienced together. And, and I just want to say that it's quite frankly the holes that in the walls or how we've chosen to repair those holes and fill those holes that has divided Christianity for so long and has divided us. Uh, we divide upon whether we use patch and paint or whether we use DAP. Uh, stupid stuff when the foundation is strong it's Christ and and life itself testifies uh, to God's existence we don't have to worry about whether it was created in six days or not and I you know I have my own beliefs on that but that doesn't change the fact that God is life and uh, we are all connected by the power of life but uh, anyway I wrote a blog about it read it be careful because I went off <laughs> Have a good day from the road less traveled.